Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to address a commonly asked question. Is HIV transmitted through kissing? It's a topic that has raised concerns and confusion among many. So let's dive right in and debunk this myth once and for all. Hi, I'm your host and you're watching yes Too positive Before we get started, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with our videos. Now let's get into it. Understanding HIV transmission. To understand whether HIV can be transmitted through kissing, we need to first understand how the virus is actually transmitted. HIV is primarily transmitted through specific body fluids, such as blood, semen, vaginal fluids, and breast milk. It's important to note that HIV cannot survive outside the human body for long. It requires specific conditions and access to certain cells to remain viable and infect another person. When it comes to kissing, the risk of HIV transmission is extremely low. Let me explain why. Saliva does not contain enough HIV to transmit the virus. Even if an HIV positive person has detectable levels of the virus in their saliva, it is still not enough to cause infection. Additionally, the lining of the mouth is quite resilient and acts as a protective barrier. Small cuts or sores that may be present are not sufficient for HIV transmission. Confirmed modes of HIV transmission. It's crucial to be aware of the actual modes of HIV transmission to protect yourself and others. Remember, HIV is transmitted through unprotected sexual intercourse, sharing contaminated needles, and from an infected mother to her child during childbirth or breastfeeding. Understanding these confirmed modes of transmission helps dispel the misconception that HIV can be transmitted through kissing. General safety practices. While the risk of HIV transmission through kissing is negligible, it's still important to practice general safety precautions to protect yourself and your partner. If you have bleeding gums, open sores, or oral infections, it's advisable to avoid deep or prolonged kissing to reduce the risk of transmitting other infections. Conclusion and takeaways. So in conclusion, HIV is not transmitted through kissing. The risk is extremely low given the minimal presence of the virus in saliva and the protective lining of the mouth. It's vital to rely on accurate information to dispel myths and misconceptions surrounding HIV transmission. We hope this video has helped clarify this topic and provided you with valuable knowledge. If you found it informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who may have similar questions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.